Okay, the big guy's down again. That's dumb. That's dumb. Only I can stun you. Flamethrower has super low power, just hit so quickly. Yeah. I just want to save as much ammo as I can for the um, final boss because the final boss always gives me trouble. I don't really know why. I do be struggling. So anyway, I started blasting MV2022. <laughs> Hi, Robbie the Rabbit. Maybe somebody got, a, got beaten to death. Maybe somebody got beaten to death. Heather, where do you think you are? She's like, hmm, my dead body. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Not like this is the place for dead bodies or anything. This is not like this is Highland Hill. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This is clearly a normal amusement park. I got the chains. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Stage. Ooh, what's that? There is a, like, Silent Hill 1 reference somewhere in here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it because of, like, the literal two pixels. My dog keeps sneezing and it keeps scaring me. The literal two pixels that are on my screen right now. Kind of hard to see anything. She's in hell and she knows it. She knows it! Dead people in Silent Hill? No way, Heather. I know, no way. Couldn't possibly be. This shoe. Pick up that shoe. Red shoe. Red shoe. We all know what red means. Okay. I think that's everything in here, so we can just dip. Other dips in a circular motion. Hang on. Ooh, it is the horse. Huey the horse. You hook? You hook? Huey the horse. Is that something? Uh uh. Uh uh. It means love, affection, anger, and life. And it also means scary. Horror, horror always has some kind of, uh, red when there's scary things happening. Unless you're in Silent Hill, then it just means blood. <laughs> Lots of blood. It just means blood. There's just blood everywhere. Okay, so we got the chain. Kind of like what we needed. Now, if I remember correctly, you can just keep pressing the wrong button. You can just stick it on here. Doop doop. Sorry, I had to I had to like poke my dog. He kept scratching himself. He's got a lot of problems. He's old. Like me. I'm just kidding. Okay, wait, what did you just say about this chain? Pick it up and put it on the other side. I think we have to manually put it on the door? I can't use that here. Can't use that here. It's like... It's like, uh... It's like Mortuary Assistant all over again. I can't use that here. Can't use that here. What did she say? Fine for now, but I've gotta attach the other end to somewhere. Yeah, the door. The door, Heather. The door. What? You just told me I can't... Heather just gaslighted me. Heather just gaslighted me. She said, I can't use that here. Maybe turn around. And then she was like, oh. Yeah, you know what? You can use that here. 
Oh god, I want to play Mortuary System again, but the one playthrough fucked me up hard. I can't remember why I didn't Oh, I didn't finish it because I played it on launch, and it had so many glitches. I, I actually refunded it, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, but I had such a hard problem with glitches that I couldn't even beat the game. <laughs> it made me mad. Gothic, hello, friend. How to do it on this day? How you feeling? Feeling good? Nice and recovering? You're recovering well? Okay, so now we can uh, turn on the machine, I'm assuming, and then just go boom. Whoa. Can't use that here. Maybe I'll try to play Mortuary Assistant again on the channel if you guys would want to see something like that. I'm good, just making an art video. Are you live right now? Are you live? My skin nerves are sensitive. No, you're not live. Mixing's live. Freaking mixing. I don't know. I thought you were live. I was about to go put I was about to go push the crabs, even though I shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> are my bunny ears kinda crooked? My bunny ears are kinda crooked. <gasps> Heather. <gasps> Douglas! Can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. What? An ambulance? I don't think we'll come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You. <sighs> you old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I say it again for the people in the back. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is our God of Mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool. No, you're right? a grandpapa. You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot and robbed of its back. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like you. <laughs> Well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this. I was no, <laughs> no. What are you doing? How did you know, Heather? 
Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Hello, motherfucker. Yeah. What a time to be raided right now. <laughs> this dramatic scene. Oh, you mixing? Hang on, give me one second for this cutscene to end. It's literally over. We're about to get shot and mixing said raid. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. My name is Emma Demi. Emmy or Demi. You can you can call me either or. Um, I am a variety streamer and a cringe VTuber. Uh, hi, Mixing. How did you how did your stream go? I just literally saw that you were alive, but I didn't know what you were playing. What you're playing? How'd it go? Today we're playing some Silent Hill 3. I'm a big horror fan, so on the occasion I'll be playing spooky games here on this channel. I hope everybody's having a great day and welcome to the stream. Relax, kick back your feet and eat some popcorns or something. Another raid, just a nerd, another nerd. I'm another nerd. Dummy, dummy. We're playing a game called Risk of Rain. Ooh, fun. Fun, fun. We love some multiplayer games. Welcome, Raiders. Yes, welcome. Thank you, Grey Woods, for the emotes. Hello, hello, hello. Risk of Rain is so fun. I gotta check it out then. If all my friends are saying it's fun. Uh, drama raid. <laughs> Let me catch up with that real quick. Damn, Douglas Dillers deserves some head pats. They really do be deserving some head pats. I miss gaming together, Emmy. I do too. We're gonna be um, playing some games with Miyuki this Thursday. I don't know if you're gonna be feeling up for, uh, up for it, but um, you can join us. Uh, and that goes for anybody um, who feels like they want to join top and bottom as well. I know, I know my schedule's full because I I try to make a lot of content for my other channels too, and it takes like a lot of my time. It takes a lot of my time. You wouldn't think that it does, but it really truly does. Because I'll feel like I'm only going to record a 30 minute video and then it ends up being like three hours later. <laughs> I apologize for that, really truly. Really truly? <clears throat> Thank you for again for the raid of the mixing. The one and only mixing. I enjoyed lurking and watching you play uh, White Day the other day. That was fun. Um, loud. It's been a while since I played White Day. Got PTSD from just dying over and over and over and over and over. But I think I was playing on hard. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the aggressive love. I think I was playing on hard mode, if I can remember correctly. Okay, so Douglas is just gonna vibe. He gonna vibe. Um, now let me look real quickly at my notes because I can't remember if I have to do something with Douglas or not later on and I don't want to miss that if I do to get this ending that would suck uh oh no 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 I don't have to do anything with Douglas okay moving on moving on moving on I guess we're just leaving we came into this room and now we're just gonna leave Douglas is just gonna sit here and die I guess Terrible at White Day, you know, like, same. But I don't know anybody. Like, I used to watch people play the old, old version of White Day. Um, before they remade it. And it looked, it's always been, like, a game that I think people struggle with. What is this? Where am I? Oh, look. This. What are my neighbors doing? Either that's my neighbors or that's the trash. I have valley trash. Isn't that cool? I just leave my trash by my door and they come pick it up. I don't even have to do anything. Puzzles are very vague. You know, yeah, for real. Many a time I looked up walkthroughs. <laughs> Many a time. Claudia Woof. Claudia Woof. Alessa Gillespie kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. Well, looks like my name's not freaking Alessa Gillespie. No word from the police. Kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article. Alessa Gillespie, 7, died in a fire. Links to current case to be investigated. Using alias Heather. Oh, there we go. Neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? I got Douglas's notebook. Can I look at it? Or is it just gonna... It's just gonna... It's the same thing. I thought there was gonna be more things I could look up. <laughs> things. But I'm enjoying the game either way, and yes, Grey Woods, that is what matters. As long as you're enjoying the game. 
I got a doll head. Ew, look at that thing. That's... That's disgusting. That's... Nasty. Look at this. It's creepy. Someone's peeping into your brain. I also think that the first playthroughs, they wanted people to play on easy. Because normal mode and above set, they said... By the way, your phone is useless. Let me, uh, phone? But yeah, no, I really do think so. We're at the fortune teller. I feel like there's a Silent Hill 2 reference in here somewhere. Um, was it in here? I feel like it was in here, but I, like I said, I can't see because it's like two pixels per game here. Two pixels. Is it in here? Let me look on the notes. There's actually quite a few Silent Hill 2 references. Uh... No, I guess the next one is... I just put next one, church. So maybe not. <clears throat> Normal difficulty below, you get notifications for help from your phone. Normal and above, it doesn't work. I didn't even know that was a thing. I never played on easy mode, so I didn't even know that was a thing. Imagine. Imagine. It made life easier for myself. Wow. I really wanted to unlock that other girl's story, though, and I was trying to play on hard mode, and I just kept dying. And I just haven't picked up the game in months. The last time I played that game, I was still using face cam. That tells you how long ago that was. We're in a little prickly forest. A little prickly forest. Wicked woods of the forest woods. Cinderella. Cinderella. Let's use the red shoe. <gasps> wow, the red shoe. Wait, did she just look at it? That's... Disgusting. Here, use this head. That looks like an apple, I guess. He's like Disneyland S uh, tracks. <laughs> no. I only knew because I started the game on normal. I had the tool tip about my phone, and it said normal difficulty and above doesn't work. Wow. Wow. Love that, developers. Vivel de developers. Love that, developers. You made a completely useful thing. Just a prop and not scary at all. You're not scary at all, Heather. You're not scary at all. Huh? Oh, right here. I was like, wow, games, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Good job, game. Really appreciate you being an absolute dumb. Oh no, my leg! No! Oh, I'm cornered. I'm cornered. I'm getting doubled. Oh no, and there's a thing. Now we just gotta worry about the... Where is it? Ow. What are you doing? Time to freaking die. Mordor! Bug flam flambe. <laughs> I almost read that as bug flammable. <laughs> bug flammable. I've been playing too much Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, bug is weak to fire. Those rapid fire barks will never be- I know, right? Oh, here's the Silent Hill 1 reference. The notebook. 
that you use as a save point. And I guess there's information on it. Dolly is the one who said it. That that girl was a demon. <gasps> not the demon. That she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can, can be deceiving. I mean, she was wearing a tie and was barefooted. So, I mean, you know. Uku. <laughs> when I saw the photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal, anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. It's my imagination, and I actually feel sorry for her. How do I feel like she's looking for someone else? Cheryl's what's important to me, and everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. Dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? She's just playing Pokemon. Emmy actually isn't busy with streaming and recording things. I mean, I do be doing that. Like, literally. Like, I'll be, I'll be editing stuff and I'll just, like, open Pokemon. <laughs> like, while it's rendering, I'm like, hmm, a little bit of Pokemon? A little bit of Pokemon? I'm tired. Go to sleep in. Take a little sleep in time. Too much Pokemon. Usually playing more Pokemon fixes it. You know what, Grey Woods? That's a good idea. You're exactly correct. And I'm going to do exactly what you said. And just play more Pokemon. <laughs> I haven't looked at how um, how many hours I've put dumped into that game, and I don't want to know. There are many nights where I wake up after not being able to sleep, and I just sit there and try to go back to sleep, and then just open up Pokemon. And then that's how it happens, you know? Yeah, I'm not usually on this late. Uh, this entire week, I think I'm going to do later streams because of um, just trying to take it easy, um, trying to relax, try not to overdo it. And yeah, I don't have a lot of time between waking up in the morning and and streaming because I I got I got to take care of my puppies. They got to go on a walk. I'm gonna take them on a walk, and then I'm doing the things, and then suddenly it's streaming time. <laughs> I mean, I have been, uh, I have been switching my schedule around a lot. I used to just always stream at 2 p.m., and I started to try to do the, um, 12, 12 p.m. a little earlier. Try to finish out some of these games that I started. Don't tell me that... This is a boss fight, and I don't even have a save point. Did I pass a save point? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, this is bad. Shit. Oh, Heather. Okay. We gotta stop the horses. Stop looking at them. We're kind of timed here, so. Go, go, go. 
Like, we're doing a boss fight. And I don't have a save point, so let's hope I don't die. Because this boss fight's actually kind of rough. At least for me. We got all of them? Did we get all of them? Oh, no, they're just raising again? Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, thank you, Mixing. Holy. The one that we have to fight is... Is it a big scary monster? Is it a big scary scary so big monster bonk? No. It's... It's us! Fight your inner demons, friends. Fight your inner demons. This fight reminds me a lot of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, uh, Dark Link. Basically, Heather is just exactly like us. I am gonna be using the handgun, uh, because that'll make things a little bit easier. Um... I might die. She's kinda difficult. We got this. It's a mixing! Oh no, it's a it's a mixing! We're fighting the mixing. Not the mixing. You need to finish this drawing before you sleep. Which drawing, Gothic? We were the true bosses all along. The true bosses are the friends we've made all along. She's got her knife out, so that's pretty easy. Okay, so since she's got bunk, she's got her knife out first, I guess I'll just Tana if I can, if she stops moving. Oh, maybe that's not a good idea. He's blocking a lot. Okay. No, I don't like that idea. Never mind. Shoot her. Oh. Haha, you missed. You missed. I'm gonna run around. You idiot. Ow. Where did she go? I hear her walking. Where did you go? What's she doing? Is she stuck? Oh. Okay, do I have any health items? Because if I don't, this is really bad. Uh oh, this is really bad. Oh no, I have some. It's fine. Who the hell are you? Where are you? Got her. Okay, she's down. I think she's gonna use a firearm next. She uses whatever you have, basically. Bonk it all day. Doing an art. Oh, I thought she appeared in front of me. Uh oh, yep. Handgun. And she's gonna pistol whip me. Imagine. Open your inventory. Uh, I'm actually gonna use this. Because so, these shots hurt. Her pistol whipping also kind of hurts a lot. I'm gonna be using a lot of ammo here, so hopefully we'll be okay by the end of the boss, but got you first. Uh-oh, I had to reload, damn it. I did 
didn't follow my own rule. she's either gonna use the katana or she's gonna use like the fire or something or the submachine gun probably uh, i'm doing an art drawing of my character in different styles Ooh, cute did a full metal alchemist and i'm looking for a reference photo Ooh, uh. but she pulled out the flamethrower she either pulls out the flamethrower or the submachine gun i can't remember either way it's bad news bears for us so Where is she? Oh, what is it? Is it a katana? What is it? Where did she go? <clears throat> Where'd she go? Hello? Hello, freaking girl? Where is she? Oh, it's a, it's a pipe. Okay. Sometimes she'll pull out some pretty wicked items. And I don't know if that's tied to your difficulty or not. Oh, she is. Oh, this is bad. I'm missing a lot of shots. We don't want to do that. She's also running away from me a lot. That's not very normal. Not very normal of her. Usually she's very aggressive. But she's not aggressive at all. What? What? Ow, she hit me. Open your inventory! Open your inventory! Oh my god, I almost... This. Can I ask how I'm, hi I'm missing so many shots like that when she's right in front of me? Heather, are you okay? Now she's a little bit more aggressive. What? How did that hit me? Did you see that? Got her. I don't know if that's the last time or not. Stop missing, Emmy. Mixing, you know what? Stop it. Stop mixing. Oh, now she's got the submachine gun. Woo! She's going splat. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, she hit me right in the face. <laughs> uh, should I change my weapon or what? Let's use some of the shotgun because I don't want to waste all of my handgun ammo. Oh, tank controls. This is not- this is scary. She dodged? No way that killed her in one shot. Kick. You need to heal. The way I'm using all of my healing items right now. Like, this is on normal mode, Emmy. Haha. Uh -huh. Kick her. Oh, we got her! We got her! Still we're scared of the rabbit shirt. It's the it's the rabbit shirt. Heather, watch where you're kicking. No, that's the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot. Yeah, we wasted a bunch of ammo. <laughs> okay. Read it. <gasps> Thank you for the pet. Good job, Emmy. Thank you. I didn't even die. It'd be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and the cruelty I endured in that sick room, 
that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on, on myself. And why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. So, Alessa and I are the same person. Bum, bum, bum. The revelation. The revelation. Ooh, not the squishy floor sounds. Not the squishy floor sounds. Where are you? Oh, that's gonna be stuck in my head. Da, 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 da. What's this? A massage? A massage? Stained by the evils of this world, we hold on to our sorrows within us. Only you can heal these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and not- <laughs> Thank you for the spooky stuff. <laughs> well said. Well said. Look, more massage. I give you the unservedly, uh, the body. So I'm planning on, I'm almost out of spicy beans. And I'm planning on getting some bean boozled. That's gonna be fun. Bean boozled and maybe some sour candies. Just a mixing. Just a mixing. Who was the mixing? Where are you? Something written on the door. The road to paradise. Embrace thy bosom. Thy bosom. I, I always embrace my bosoms. I hold my bosoms for no reason. They're just in my hands. <laughs> They're just there. I don't know. It's just a thing. By embracing thy bosom. Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Hearing you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> the time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement and eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. No. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa, your true self. But I am Alessa. My little Claudia. Oh, my dear. My sweet, sweet sister. Claudia. Alessa? Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation! Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. No. But for that to happen, the world must first be the remade. The Booba guided us. And for that, we need God. No, we need Booba. You self-righteous witch. No one asked you to help. It's growing within you. No. Me, don't you? You're damn right I do. That's good. I don't want 
Aurora birth god. That's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> Not the booba. The freaking booba. Who needs paradise when we can have booba? That's the truth. Who even has booba? Who even has booba? Who even has booba? Who even has booba? I don't want God. I want Jesus. Jesus. Arnar. 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 What's this? What? Eye of Night card? Are we? Oh, we're picking up tarot cards. The Eye of Night. Our nar. I'm super flat, so not me. I'm the flattest thing since Papier. Papier. Cannot relate. Wish I could relate, though. I don't really want the booba. They're fun to look at, but they're not fun to have because you get back problems. You get back problems. So maybe we'll be able to finish the the um game in this this stream, friendos. <laughs> I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death. Sorry for coughing in your ears, by the I way, I did not mean to do that. So hard. <laughs> but please. Grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Very Allow Catholic. Me to Very Catholic. For my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. <laughs> and deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. <laughs> Please. Also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. <laughs> God. I am a child. Trembling with fear as I stare at death. To hold my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please. Forgive me. Well, this is important to uh, obtaining the certain ending that you want. Um, if you haven't killed a lot of enemies and stuff, uh, then it kind of really doesn't matter what you choose because I've gotten the normal ending and still choose chosen the opposite. But because I absolutely want to obtain the possessed ending, we're going to have to forgive the lady. Uh, it says, it's always been said that to get the normal ending, you have to say, don't say anything. But if you're not, if you're not killing more than 200 enemies or receiving a bunch of damage, which you probably will receive a bunch of damage if it's your first time playing, but if you're not killing all of the enemies possible, then you should be fine. Like, it doesn't matter really what you choose, it's really up to you. This is one of those choices that's kind of like false choice kind of thing. A little bit. Not completely. Simply take care of your back then. Um, yeah, I do actually need to do more back exercises and stuff, that would probably help. Coughing ASMR. Me. I've been trying to mute every time I feel like I'm gonna cough, so I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> Are there any tricks for back problems and non-flat people? Uh, back exercises. Back, lots of back, back exercises, like, um, scap- I almost said spatula. I call it spatula. Uh, scapula exercises. That'll help a lot. And stretching. Yes, also that. Stretching. Uh, I actually used to do a lot of yoga. I need to start doing yoga again. Let me say something to this lady while she's just crying in the confessional. By the way, this is a very Catholic idea of this whole confessional thing. Um, 
I forgive you, lady, even though I have no right to. Because I'm not your boss. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> There's some kind of really weird thing here where I don't know, I don't really know what the purpose of this scene is. Like, is it something for Heather? I guess I'm not sure. But uh, scene hello. Oh, that scene dragged on a long time. Nothing more to be said. You didn't say anything. You said I forgive you. <laughs> I cracked my back like many times. Same. I can't crack my back though. I have a hard time doing that. <gasps> Miyuki, hello friend. How did tune in? The beautiful, most beautiful, amazing Miyuki. Look, Miyuki, you're on the screen. You're on the screen. As a Miyuki. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as you, Miyuki. I'm a bun today. I'm cosplaying as you. Look at this map, by the way. Isn't this the best map you've ever seen in your life? Isn't it the most clear, amazing? piece of map you've ever seen in your life 